Hey everyone, I am here today to talk about my top five tips for cosplay photography. This is not like how to pose or how to take pictures because I suck at both of those. This is more about how to get photos taken of your costume, where to look for photographers, what uh, to think about when you're booking one, how to book one, stuff like that. Um, and that leads me right into my first tip, which is to take pictures of every costume. Uh, I have been doing this since 2006. I've made well over 100 costumes for myself and other people, and there are so many of them that I do not have pictures of, especially from when I first started, because it didn't really seem important at the time, or we were just running around, or also it was 2006 and social media didn't exist yet, and you didn't take pictures of costumes, but that's like a whole different video. Um, but I really wish I did have pictures of them, especially a lot of my early ones. Um, so I always recommend to try to take photos, even if it's just step outside the convention center for five minutes, get out of the fluorescent lighting, have your friend take their phone and take a couple pictures of you. They don't have to be fantastic, but you're going to be glad you had them. And even if it's just your first costume and you're not all that proud of it or something where you just bought a lot of it, you didn't make it, no matter what, you picked that costume for a reason. It has importance to you and you're going to want to have photos of you in it. So always take pictures, even if it's not a professional photo shoot, even if it is just a couple nice selfies, get them because you're going to be glad you had them. And don't, this is not include like the crummy in your mirror, in your workroom with like all your trash in the background pictures. Cause that just like, that's awful. I hate those. And uh, you're going to look back and all you're going to be able to look at is like the background and the poor lighting. Go outside, pose by a tree, pretend you're in an anime or whatever, and take a couple pictures. Um, tip number two is a step above that. This is when you actually want to get someone who is a professional photographer who has a nice camera and you want them to take pictures of you. Uh, so tip number two is where to find a photographer, where to find one of these magical people. Um, the internet, the internet is the answer. One of the answers, I guess. <laughs> if you see a photographer whose work you like, they have social media, follow them. And generally they will put up a post saying, hey, I'm going to this con, here are my rates, here's my booking schedule, here's how to book with me. Shoot them a message, do not be nervous about it. They put up that advertisement because they want people to book with them. Uh, and if they turn you down, it's because their schedule is already full. It's not anything personal and that they don't like you and you suck. Uh, so just say, okay, thank you and go book someone else. It's not hard. Um, cosplay.com has a whole section of photography and usually people will put up, hey, I'm going to this con. Uh, what's that app? Cosplay Am Ami Amigo? What is it? Amiibo? Something like that. There's a cosplay app. That's got a photography thing. Uh, it's very, very easy to find people online who are advertising. Um, they want to get their name out there. So it's very easy to track someone down and book with them. Another great way is at the con. Um, get a few cosplay cards, even if they're just things that you've written your email address on. Um, a couple of my very favorite photographers to shoot with are people that just took my picture at a convention. We swapped cards. I really liked the photos. They really liked work. You know, we liked working with each other. Uh, and then we ended up shooting again at multiple other cons. I've had that with a few people um, and it really was just passing in the hallway and now you have this great friendship and this great resource. Um, and don't be afraid to maintain those relationships, especially if you liked working with a photographer. You know, follow them on Facebook or Instagram and when they post something, like it or comment on it, you know, or shoot them a message saying, hey, I had fun, are you gonna go to this con? Do you wanna shoot again? You know, it's don't just come to them being like, here is my money and take pictures of me. If you maintain a good relationship, that's a really great way to kind of be able to get a lot of really cool pictures in the future and have fun working with someone. Uh, and tip number three is what to look for in a photographer, what you're looking for when you're booking someone. Uh, and that depends on your photo and your costume. Think about what the costume is. When you're looking through their whole gallery on Facebook or whatever of their previous work that you've done, Think about what your priority is for that costume. So if you are like me and you are super awkward at posing and you can only make like, that's like the only face you can ever make in a picture. When you look through all those pictures and you notice that they have a lot of people in really interesting dynamic poses and a wide range of them, that's usually a good clue that that photographer is very good at communicating posing to people and they're very good at setting them up and seeing that. So if you're bad at that, look for it and be like, oh, they have strengths that I don't have. Or if you're looking through and all their stuff has very kind of dark, dramatic lighting, that might not be who you want to message to shoot that magical girl that you're wearing to that con. 
but they might be who you want to get in touch with about shooting that kind of dark and gritty superhero that you're going to bring. So think about what their work looks like and try to match it to which one of your costumes at that convention is going to work best with that photographer. Uh, number four, tip number four. This is going to sound, it's, it's going to sound a little weird, but let me make my whole point here, which is that you get what you pay for. So that is not to say that someone who puts up a post saying, hey, I'm going to be doing free photo shoots, you know, at the con, that's not to say you should ignore them and be like, well, if they're for free, they suck. Not at all. But when you look at it, a lot of times people who have had a lot of experience and are really good charge more money. Um, many times it's because they have expensive lighting equipment or because they're willing to do a lot of digital alterations afterwards. So it's not just a flat fee for a picture. There's usually something that comes with it. Uh, and usually there's a skill level as well. You know, it's the same with people who commission or cosplay. You get better over time and you value your skills more. So if you have been taking pictures for a really long time and you're very good at it, chances are you're gonna charge more than someone who is going to their first con and has their first nice camera and this is their first time doing it. Um, and generally people like that are gonna offer very inexpensive shoots or they're gonna do it for free because they want the practice and they want to build up their portfolio. That's not to say that they suck and that the people with really expensive shoots are better or anything like that. Um, but just it's something to keep in mind in terms of experience and what you get for the whole package. So if it's just a costume that you kind of did for fun and you know, you're know you happy and you want to get pictures of it, but it's not like the most amazing thing you've ever made, yeah, absolutely. If that person who's offering that free shoot or that $5 shoot seems cool, book with them. And you never know, you might get really good results. They might be someone who wants to work with you again, especially if you're helping build up their portfolio. It could be the start of a really good relationship. But if you have this really elaborate costume and you have spent hundreds of hours and hundreds of dollars on it, and it is the fanciest thing you've ever made, yeah, your wallet might be hurting and you might kind of think, oh my gosh, I can't spend $80 on a photo shoot. I can't spend $100 on a photo shoot. But at that point, with the amount of work that you have put into this piece and the amount of time and the amount of effort, chances are you want to show it off. You want to have really good photos. And yeah, you're probably gonna wear it to a million conventions and a lot of people are gonna see it and be impressed with it in person. But having those really amazing photos that look like you stepped out of that game or out of that show are gonna mean a lot to you. And being able to put those out there for people to see, especially with all the work you've put in it, is really gonna be worth it to you. So sometimes it may be worth spending that extra amount of money uh, for those really nice photos. Um, and that's something to always keep in mind when you budget for that initial cosplay at the very beginning. When you say, I know I want quality photos of this, I know I'm willing to pay a lot of money for it. Uh, so just to keep in mind when you're looking at prices, not to get a little bit of sticker shock, uh, that it's, it's usually worth it. Uh, and tip number five goes hand in hand with this. Tip number five is always pay your photographer. Always pay your photographer. I don't care if they are someone who just says, oh no, I'm, you know, I'm doing it for free. Or if they're a photographer you've worked with in the past and they're offering to do it for free to you again, I don't care. Give them money. They have taken nice pictures of you. They have taken time out of their schedule to take pictures. Look at the amount of money that you're paying for kind of a similar shoot and give them that amount of money. Give them 20 bucks or whatever, you know, 30, 40, doesn't matter pay that person. Uh, it is a nice gesture. It is a nice thing to do. It makes you come off as a good person. They probably have bills just like you have bills to pay for your costumes. That camera was expensive. Pay them. Uh, if it's your friend, because I have a couple friends who are photographers and have nice cameras and will take pictures of me. If it's your friend and they just will not let you pay because you're best buddies, buy them lunch. Buy them something in the dealer room trade costume pieces like i've done that where i'll make a costume piece and then the friend will take a picture for me you know i made them a costume it doesn't matter don't just take the photos and leave like find a way to repay this person give them food you know bake some cookies and bring them and give them to your photographers i don't care it's the right thing to do and it shows your appreciation for the work that they're putting in and it's going to help build a good relationship with that person if the photos come out great they will probably be willing to shoot with you again because you weren't a jerk uh, and in the long run, it's just really, you know, it's the right thing to do. So hopefully all these tips were helpful. Uh, hopefully they're a good start to getting nice pictures of your costume. Uh, 
I always try to think of my costumes as sort of a portfolio of stuff I've made. I want to get nice pictures of them because I put a lot of work into it. This is the final product. Not everyone in the world is going to see them at cons. So it's nice to have a way to show that to people. So if you think of it that way, think of it as this product that you've made that you want to be able to show off. It's absolutely worth getting photos. And hopefully this was a good start uh, to how to go about that. Let me know if you have any other video suggestions. I always like to hear them and sometimes I run out of ideas. So leave those in the comments below. If you have a favorite photographer you want to shout out, leave that in the comments or a favorite picture. I like to see those too. And until then, good luck and I hope your photos turn out super amazing.